In a recent poll, over 54% of viewers or over 5,000 people requested we test Liquid Molly Ceratec next. Obviously, it's a very popular additive, but does it actually deliver results? Now, I'm a big skeptic when it comes to oral additives. In the past, we've tested several oral additives, and most of them just don't seem to deliver results. But will Liquid Molly Ceratec be different? I'm not sure if it will or not, but let's give it some tests and find out just how good this product is. This product claims it reduces friction and wear, prevents metal to metal contact, and reduces fuel consumption. We'll measure the film strength of Liquid Molly using this lubricity tester. We'll also use this small engine to determine whether or not this product reduces frictional losses. We're also going to measure whether or not this product leaves deposits in the combustion chamber or on spark plugs. We're going to determine if Liquid Molly improves fuel efficiency using this generator. So what exactly is in Liquid Molly? We know that it has some sort of ceramic and there's a cast number that's referenced, so let's take a look at that. This is the cast number we just saw. What is the ingredient? It contains boron oxide. So what kind of qualities does boron oxide have? It comes in the form of a pellet. It's also hydroscopic. Rather than explain how this lubricity tester works, please reference the description of the video and there's a link to a video that describes more details about this tester. For now, we're going to test whether or not Liquid Molly Ceratec has the same film strength or better film strength than regular conventional 10W30 oil. For the instructions, we're going to use 6% Ceratec with the motor oil. So the top of this white line represents 16 ounces. So what I'm going to do is add 16 ounces of oil and one ounce of Ceratec to have that 6% mixture. The bearing on the left is 10W30, the bearing in the middle is just Ceratec, and the bearing on the right is the 10W30 Ceratec mix. Ceratec does not seem to be adding too much film strength to just 10W30 oil. When it comes to oil additives, a lot of additive makers claim that it takes 500, maybe 1,000 miles before the product begins to deliver results. But right off of the Liquid Molly website, I found this article about an individual who used the product and it immediately delivered results. So apparently Liquid Molly is endorsing the product being able to deliver immediate results and that's what we're going to test today. If you want to see the article for yourself, this is a link to the address. As you can see, this engine has a lot of scoring. The special structure of the ceramic particles fills in the microscopic irregularities in the metal and prevents direct metal to metal contact. So we're going to run this engine a while, take the cylinder head back off and see if this cylinder wall looks any different. The governor on this engine has been disconnected. The throttle plate is wired in position. So in order for the RPM to go up beyond what it currently is going to run at, there has to be less internal friction within the engine. So we're gonna develop our baseline using gasoline and then we're gonna add the Liquid Molly Ceratec, run the engine a while and see if the RPM will increase with adding it to the crankcase. I'm gonna go ahead and run this engine. It just has 10W30 oil in it. Once we're done with 10W30, then we'll add the Ceratec to see if the RPM increases.
The next test we'll be using this generator, we'll be applying a load and running a full tank of fuel with just regular 10W30 oil. After that, we're going to go ahead and add the Ceratec and see if the engine's going to run for a longer period of time. This is going to measure fuel efficiency under load. To demonstrate how much power we're pulling, we'll be using this kilowatt device. We've used this in other videos. This includes volts, amps, watts, and hertz. So this will give us a good indication as to how much power is being drawn by the space heater that we'll be using. Before we start the test, I want to make sure I have the engine fully warmed up. Once it's warmed up, I'll shut the engine down, fill the tank with fuel, and then the clock will begin to see how long this engine will run with just 10W30 in the crankcase with a full tank of gasoline. Okay, the engine ran for a little over 67 minutes. So what I'm doing now is drain out about an ounce of oil and add a little over an ounce of Liquid Molly Ceratec and see how the engine does. So does Luca Molly Ceratec actually work? I think we had some mixed results on that. I will say it works a lot better than MOS2 in my opinion. Now the Lubristi test showed it had slightly better film strength than regular 10W30 oil, but we've tested other products that have a lot better film strength. Now once we added the product to the lawnmower engine, it was quite interesting to see that there was an RPM increase showing that it was less internal friction. Now that's one of the things the product claims to deliver on. It appears that it does reduce internal friction. It also claims that it improves fuel efficiency. We tested the product inside the generator and it does appear to improve fuel efficiency by almost 1%. While 1% may not sound like a lot over the course of the lifetime of a vehicle, 1% adds up. The product claims that it fills in microscopic irregularities. Therefore, we ran five tanks of fuel for this lawnmower just to see if it would help regarding the compression. It did not deliver as far as improving the compression. In the past, this engine has had greater compression. Regarding the combustion chamber buildup, there was a lot of buildup on the piston and the cylinder head. I don't want to blame the product for that entirely, just because we did run five tanks of fuel through the engine and we normally only run one. Anyway, I'd like to know your opinion on Liquid Molly Ceratec and hear about your experiences with the product. Do you like the product or do you think it's snake oil? Personally, I don't think it's snake oil. I just don't think it's the best product we've tested to date. However, I do think it's a product that delivers on some of the results it claims. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. Please take care and I look forward to next time.